One of New Zealand's greatest aviation pioneers has died. Sir Tim Wallace was famed for his involvement in the Warbirds over Wanaka air show and knighted for his crucial role in our deer recovery industry. He was 85. Keisha Brownlee reports. Sir Tim Wallace, a helicopter pilot and successful entrepreneur, dubbed Hurricane Tim for a reason. It was never far from adventure or risk. The helicopter was a way that I had of making a business out of deer. Sir Tim built an aviation empire. By combining helicopters, deer recovery and farming, he gained respect pioneering New Zealand's live deer industry. Plucking deer from rugged terrain, he developed a thriving trade and forged valuable international relationships for which he was knighted in 1994. Sir Tim's accolades for aviation spanned far beyond conservation. I'm more at home in the sky than I am here. Really? Traversing tourism and preservation when he turned his passion for tracking down, buying and restoring World War II fighter aircraft to the warbirds over Wanaka over air show. So we go from the edge of the runway closest to the crowd. Drawing crowds of more than 50,000. <laughs> Often described as accident prone after ending up in several aviation accidents. Sir Tim was partially paralysed in a helicopter accident in 1968. 1191, we're talking on. He had to learn to walk again, but it didn't put him off flying. I'm a born aviator, and uh, that's what I want to stay doing. In 1996, he crashed his Spitfire and was given a 15% chance of recovery. But he beat the odds. Ten years later, confined to a wheelchair, he attended the show. I've always admired what they did in World War One, World War Two, with the piston engine fighters, and they are reasonably attractive. That people can see them. The jets go zip, zip, zip. You can't see them, and they fly so high. Tragically, two of his sons, Matthew and Nick, both died in separate helicopter crashes in 2018, just three months apart. Sir Tim Wallace is survived by wife Prue and sons Toby and Jonathan. He was 85. Kesha Brownlee, News Hub.